What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Metal Raymond here today with a new video and as you've read by the title and the thumbnail it's going to be a guide for once because I've been noticing a lot of new players coming into the game or returning players and this guide is going to be both for people that have uh, you know that are new to the game and want to learn how to make basic money as well as the returning players or the players that have lost bank from gambling and have to rebuild this is how I did it that's what I'm going to be showing you um, why I do certain things and how it makes money um, starting from a fresh account that I'm going to make in just a minute uh, before we actually get more into the content I want to announce the giveaway for this video which is going to be a five dollar bond for the first comment in the comments down below with your in-game name, unedited, and a $20 bond to one lucky random winner. All you need to do to enter those giveaways is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your in-game name down below, and turn on the notifications so you can stay up to date to new videos. That being said, let's go make a new account and I'll walk you guys through how I always made my money when I first started uh, playing Spawn PK. So the first thing you need to know about making a new account on SpawnPK is that you have to register on the forums first. So we're quickly going to make an account called Metal Nukemon and then get right into the gameplay. Of course if you are new to the game make sure you use the link in the description to go straight to the page. Now let's make an account. I want to go straight into APK or account is the one you want to click. You can change this later on so just for now. Well no you can all see my pin. Ooh, never going to use this again. What the fuck I didn't read the question. Is it the pin again? Alright, great. So first you get your little tutorial and then after that you can uh, click this refer box in your inventory for a little bit of starter stuff. This is where you set up all your settings etc. You should all know this but now I want to get straight into the money making. Here you can see a bunch of different tips and tricks but we're not going to use any of those. Nothing at all. We have our starters goodie bag obviously and we're going to pick the beginner AGS because it's the easiest to replace at only like 100 and 150 mil. Somewhere in between there. I found Spawn PK on YouTube, other YouTuber, Metal Raymond. Make sure you click it just like that and you will get your uh, bloodlust scroll from the refer which earns you 10 more blood money per kill for 30 minutes. We're going to be using that in just a minute um, but before we do that we have to click all those stupid arrows so we can get through the tutorial. Great, I don't care. Now let's get a starter setup. Alright, so on the right you have this extension of your client. It's not on screen, I don't want to record it because it stretches out everything. But you have it right there and you can click the clone one to copy your current setup and then spawn it and it will spawn the one you saved. So first we're going to need some gear. You're going to go into the hourglass, what is that called? Not an hourglass, like a spectacle or something? I don't know. This little emblem right here, you can search for items. So we're just going to start off with the basic setup and right click it to spawn one of them as you can see in my inventory. We're gonna need a bunch of these starter items and set up a decent gear thingy. I will show you guys when I'm completely done for how it looks like but if this is your first time downloading uh, the game you should have a starter setup on the right already. Anyway I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright and this is what your gear setup should look like, a torso, you can spawn all the untradeables like the uh, fire cape, torso etc, DFS is spawnable as well. This is the setup you want to use and then you have your beginner AGS. Now in case you guys don't know, an AGS is quite cheap on spawn PK. Uh, if I search for it, 130 mil, we can make that easily in just a few minutes. Now as you can see we already have a bunch of starter items in the bank, I'm not going to use most of them, we're just going to grab some potions some food and our vengeance runes that I have. Oh, yeah. You can just type uh, Fenge just like that and you will get your runes. So get a good setup going for your inventory as well and then you copy the entire thing onto the extension of the client. I bring like six Karam Bombs and a bunch of Manta Rays. Clone it, clone to new PKing, yes. And there you go, now you can spawn it every time you die. Now what's important is that you have a very clear mindset on what's about to happen. First of all, it is okay to die. It doesn't matter if you die. You don't lose anything, so don't worry about it. At, at very much at the start, just DM people. Just do it. Maybe they can be respectful and DM you back. Try not to fight two overpowered players, but at the same time, always fight players risking more than you if it's worth it. Why? Because if you do KL them, you get lucky and you know you make fucking bank in one PK. That's kind of what you want to reach. But I'm not gonna fight someone with a divine because that would be stupid. Good luck to this guy, hopefully he wants to fight me, yes he does. Good luck to him. Let's see what happens if we uh, can kill him. 
and how much money we exactly make from one kill. There we go with the Fench. AGS right after. Oh, I didn't kill him. Shame. That's unfortunate. One of the other first things you might want to go for in this game would be to get the uh, Donator Bond. You only need $10 for the first Donator status, which is like 20 billish at the moment. It's quite a bit of money if you're starting off, but at the same time it's not too long to get. And it does unlock yell and stuff, which makes the game a lot easier. Just keep your HP up. PKing is not that difficult, guys. Especially if you're fighting someone like this, you can always just ask, like, do you want to DM? Like this. It doesn't matter, and you just need to get a few kills to get started on this game. Oh, there's a good one, come on. Ah, oh, shame. We can pull it off. Yes, we just did. There's our first kill on the account. What do we get? A Berserk Ring, Block Money and a Tokhar Call. Now let me just tell you right off the bat this isn't a lot of money and it won't help you a lot either. But it's a start. And just from those basic PKs you are already making like small amounts. 25 mil cash, why not, you know? Because he lost a VLS, he has to repair it, you get a little bit of cash for it. The Tokhar Call is worth 35 mil at the moment, very good price. And then you have a Berserk Ring you can sell to the store. You also can notice that there's a little bit of Block Money in my inventory. Before I show you guys where you use it on that, you can click this button, button right here, bank all items, boop, everything gone, then spawn the loadout again and you'll be all ready and set up to go. Easy as that. Now walk over to uh, west of the bank, you have a little blood fountain right here. Now this fountain has the Bloodberg tree, which is a bunch of abilities that you really want to unlock, especially the Vengeance one and the Blood Whip. This will allow you to get 20 second Vengeance instead of 30 seconds. And then you have the Blood Whip going up somewhere. It's quite far, you have to unlock a few things first. Oh, it's only two, like this one, this one, and this one. And then for 350 blood money, which is like 1.6 billish at the moment, you can unlock the Blood Whip. And this one does have increased stats over the normal whip and it's kept on death. The same goes for a few other items like the Blood Recoil Ring and perhaps the uh, uh, possible other items in the future as well. Let's just see if we can find a new target to fight because we do need to make a little bit of money before we can uh, uh, continue our journey. But this is the worst case scenario you can ask for in a fight because there's a lot of people uh, that PK in way less gear but still risk more in like festas and stuff. So that's kind of the type of people you want to go for. But now you have a little example of the type of person you don't want to fight. Here's another example of the type of person you don't want to fight. As you can see, he's unskilled PKing, but he doesn't risk anything. He has a Fury, Dragon Boots, no risk whatsoever. But meanwhile, he has all the stats increases because he's using good items. Don't fight people like that. It's okay to non skull PK, don't get me wrong. But don't non skull PK without any risk, okay? Another great tip if you're starting out on this game is to kill some of these bots. They will have it in their clan tag before their name. And you can just kill them and get a little bit of blood money, berserker ring and stuff like that. Just a little bit to help you on the way. They're not that difficult to kill. And they always DM. So you can make some great starter cash off of that. Alright, he's already out of food. So now he's just gonna die to my vengeance hopefully soon. And you get your starter cash. Because he automatically DMs so there's no real worries about that. The odds of him out hitting you are pretty low as well. Happens very, very rarely. Any second now, he's fucking stretching his death out for quite a while at the moment. Kind of annoying. Please die. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Why won't he die? There we go, finally. And you get a little bit of blood money, as I said. If you kill the one at pure, a little bit to the left, uh, or at pure, typed just like this, you can actually kill those bots for a little bit more loot and you get more blood money as well. Your blood money will also increase by the time you get a higher kill streak or if you get more donator status. Most shitty thing about having shitty gear is not being able to hit. Because I'm getting destroyed at the moment. Nice, he's DMing us. It's a bit more confirmation that if you make him out you didn't waste all your time, at least someone dies. That's how I always feel at least. We almost got another spec though. Might be able to get this off. Oh, we hit a zero again. There we go, he's about to die. There we go. Finally. 
A little bit more of blood money. Oh, we actually did PK the test. It's very nice. There's your starter cash. Alright, at this point basically what you want to do is keep repeating the same process. If you keep at it, you will get kills. Trust me, you will get it at some point. You know, most players aren't that difficult to kill. And the spawnable ones will give you quite a nice amount of uh, blood money and other stuff over time. Just keep at it. Eventually, you'll find someone that's risking bank. You kill him. You make a few hundred mil, perhaps even a few bill. It happens a lot. It might not have happened this time, but... You know, you just gotta be lucky. Besides, I wasn't PKing at the peak time, so there were a lot less players than if you were on during the night, during American time, because then there's like a couple of 10 people PKing, like 10, 20, 30. I don't know how you say that in English, but yeah, you get my point. And, um, you know, you just have to keep trying and trying. Don't forget to use your uh, Bloodlust scroll that you get from the refer. You'll get an extra 10 blood money per kill, giving you 13 instead of uh, just 3. And after that, you can start unlocking some things like the Blood Vengeance, as I'm doing right there in the video. You know, I sold most of my stuff and just reinvested it in blood money so I could make my first unlocks. Then I did a quick vote. You can claim it right after, and you will get some more Bloodlust scrolls for when your uh, refer one uh, wears off. You can do that every day. Very useful to make some starter cash. And uh, yeah, that's about it for what I wanted to say. I'm uh, gonna jump right into the live commentary again right around now. The next good money maker you can try out are the daily tasks that Spawn PK offers for you. Such as thieving, voting, undead PKers, battle mages and much more. All these things you can do will give you certain rewards. Especially things like the battle mages, brutal dragons or even better the undead PKers. These caskets go for around 2 to 2.5 bill. So doing these tasks really quick every single day will help you out a bunch. Even if you do the player killing up until 50 kills, and I do believe bot kills count for this as well, you will also get a nice little casket from that. Same with pure PKing, and then you have a bunch of other things that you can do. Some of them don't really give that much of a good reward, a little bit on the uh, low side, but the easy ones definitely do, and they are worth doing because they are quick, you get them done in 1, 2, 3, and then you are back to whatever else you want to do. So let's get into the first two main things I want to talk about, which are the Undead PKers. Definitely do, do those. And the Battle Mages, because besides the daily task for Battle Mages, you also get some really good rewards for them. And you don't really need anything to kill them. They are very basic to kill, and I'll show you guys really quick how easy it is to actually do this. So one thing you do need is either a Toxic Staff of the Dead or a Zamorak Staff, because you're going to need the Flames of Zamorak. And you want to get as much money as you can. So let's say we're not going to PK anymore. We are done with that for a little bit. And we want to upgrade some things. We can sell all of our blood money for a very strong price at the moment. Which is around 5.5 mil each. Just got to put ours in a little bit lower for 50, 250k. 200 of them, which will give us a little bit over 1 bill cash already. If you don't want to risk anything while doing this... You also need a Tome of Fire. The Blood Money already sold, so there's our 1 bill cash already. Now we're gonna buy a Tome of Fire because this will increase our hits drastically, as well as a Toxic Staff of the Dead for another 600 mil. This is basically all we're gonna need, but you can use a Zamorak Staff or something else like a Mage Book just as easily. But this will increase your hits by quite a bit, let me just tell you that. You can spawn Infinity Boots just like this. And then we're also going to take out an Aram suit for the maximum accuracy. <clears throat> I suppose that would be the best case. Now we do need some um, other things, such as the normal spellbook. So we're going to run over here and switch it to modern. And then we're going to need a few runes for the uh, Flames of Zemrak, which are air and blood. You can just spawn them in here. Air and blood, or spawn like one mil of them. Same with the blood runes, should be a little bit down here. Scro my scroll wheel is completely fucked. There we go, and now we can cast that spell. Also make sure you use charge for the maximum hits. Might even consider bringing those. Oh, apparently I do need separate fire runes because the staff doesn't give them. That's strange. Should be given it because of the Tome of Fire actually. Oh well. All good, now we can cast it. Use charge for a little bit more hits and then bring some foods and potions to tank everything. Just in case PKers do show up. Turn on your uh, 
prayers, everything you need, just pray mage and they won't hit you at all. And then just kill these battle mages over here. These drop these uh, magic tokens that you can spend in the shop inside. And uh, yeah, that's basically all you need to know. They are very easy to kill. You should be able to hit quite a bit on them with the Flames of Zamorak and the Tome of Fire. If you have both the Staff and the Tome, you're already good on DPS. And they also drop coins and block money. Now, these will stack up quite quickly, not gonna lie. But you start off with a very low amount of tokens. However, the more tokens you have on you, the more they will start to drop. Capping out at 5000 tokens, if you bring that many, you will get a total of 28 magic tokens every single kill. And there's also a rare chance for an uh, arcane demon to spawn. These will also give more tokens, but also have a chance to drop things like the uh, shards, which are the shards of balance, holy and unholy. And these sell for around 1 bill each. And a very rare chance to also drop the pet, which goes for quite a bit of money as well. But if you get that as a starting player, you're probably better off using it here and just keep doing this. Now what I would recommend if you get some starter cash is to simply uh, sell all your uh, stuff and buy as many magic tokens as you can. Maybe bring like Armadale top and bottom or carols so you can tank in case someone shows up. Don't forget that you have a toxic, stride, uh, toxic staff of the dead and the special attack does block melee damage for quite a bit. And then you can just bring like 1000 magic tokens once you have enough money for that and you will start seeing a lot better return per kill. They also drop these mystic uh, dusk pieces, all three of them, and they sell for a very small amount. However, if your bank is that low, you might want to loot those and sell those to the TP as well. TP stands for trading post. Alright, that's going to be it for the newbie guide part 1. I might make more in the future from what you want to do after you reach a certain point, what other good money maker ways there are. And not really make it a series, just a multiple part video. Because there are so many things you can do and so many good and bad money makers or you know, some are very stable money but not the best money and other are more of a risk where you can get more money. We'll get in all of that uh, later on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next video.